All right. Well, uh, hello. My name is Bob Diega. I'm hoping everything's good. Everybody can hear me. Let me make sure my volume's on again. Um, this is MAT 150, uh, College Algebra, 12 weeks. So I want to welcome you to your first assignment, uh, so to speak, of uh, watching the videos. This video is more of, a, of an introductory video. I'll talk about a few other things. The other video takes you on a tour through the class. Uh, I think it's very helpful just to spend that 15 minutes or so uh, going through so I can show you where things are located so you don't have the frustration, so you don't start uh, clicking on stuff and, and working on, uh, on problems and sections you shouldn't be working on. Uh, it happens occasionally, not often. Uh, but some people fail to watch my videos and they'll just start working stuff at random and you've wasted a lot of time possibly doing stuff that doesn't matter. So anyway, that's the purpose of these videos. Uh, this is a, again, a 12 week course. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit quicker. So I just want to, uh, briefly talk about, uh, the, uh, exams and then you know how to uh, do what you can do to prepare to take these exams and and to pass these exams. Um, I require two proctored exams, midterm and a final. The midterm is due in March. The finals due in May. They are both comprehensive. Uh, the reason we do two is to give you a better shot at getting the passing average. Uh, so we take the first midterm and we'll go from there. We'll see how things go and then uh, we'll go from there as far as what to do for the final. But as you, as I take you through the class, you will see uh, how it's set up and I will go over kind of what I think you need to be doing to help prepare yourself for uh, these two exams. So anyway, um, to be successful, in my opinion, you got first of all do your own work as much as possible. Now there are videos, uh, lecture videos I provide, uh, other help areas in the class. There's nothing wrong with getting tutoring, nothing wrong with getting help, but you can't just have someone doing your work for you. You can't use websites or apps that give you the answers just to boost up your average. Because if you don't have a passing average on the midterm and final, you won't pass the class. It doesn't matter if you have 100% on your homework and 100% on the quizzes. You still have to pass the midterm and the final. Okay, And again, it's a 60% average on those two. Um, so that's one thing. What I suggest doing is, you know, as you're working through the homework, you know, mimic what I do or you know what maybe uh, some solver things help you with whatever you're using to uh, give you help but then at some point maybe when you take the quizzes uh, try to do those with no more than a formula sheet of some sort or one page of notes uh, because that's what you're allowed to take on the midterm and final is one page front side of notes whatever you want uh, that kind of helps you know get your mind in that setting to where you don't have a lot of crutches to lean on so so those are things I will talk about in the class and I'll remind you about those too um, there are due dates for for items uh, we'll go over that work ahead that doesn't mean because the the due date is say you know May 2nd or April 13th or whatever that you have to wait till then I encourage you to work ahead uh, if you can even take the midterm earlier than I have it scheduled you just have to find a proctor for it that's the only key to that um, and I'll go over all that as well uh, I'm here for you. If you have questions, you know, email me. I'll do the best I can to help you. Uh, sometimes it's tough over email to explain math, but I'll try to do the best I can. Uh, but take advantage uh, of all the help you have within the class as well. Um, please, please, please uh, give me 24 hours minimum to, uh, well, 24 hours to 48, 24 to 48 hours to respond to your emails. Uh, if you email me late at night, that's probably not, I'm not, probably not get back to you to the next day. Okay, um, <clears throat> but I want everyone to do well. I always do. 
but you have to put out some effort. You have to work at it. It's not easy. You must not procrastinate. You must check your email. Okay. Uh, I do email weekly, you know, maybe twice a week, but whatever. I will keep in contact with you, but you have to check your email. And, you know, you can't wait till two days before a due date to start your work. Okay. I do uh, give you some flexibility for those people that maybe work and maybe need weekends to do their work. I try to, I try to help you out there, but, but don't just wait till then because you can. Okay, try to work ahead. All right, so so those are some things that uh, you know I think are important for your success in this class. Um, but there are others, and you know, it's always good to have some skills math wise. And, and some of us, you know, we struggle. Some of us don't. So everybody's different. But doesn't mean you can't get the grades you want in here with the right type of attitude and the right work ethic. So uh, you can do it. But at any rate, I'm going to end this video. Uh, the next one, again, will be a tour of the class, so please watch it. I mean, I think it's, it'll save you a lot of time and frustration.